Hi, welcome back to Math with me, Marisol Lopez, your second grade math virtual content specialist. Think of me as your teacher's helper. In this unit, we will continue learning about measurement. Are you ready to get started? This is the question that we will be answering today. How can you develop estimation strategies? You may not know what estimation means. I'll teach you. Estimation means to roughly judge or calculate the number of items by using mental math strategies. How many sunflowers do you think there are in this picture? It would take a really long time for you to count them one by one. This is one example when we might use estimation to help us. You might have estimated before without even knowing. For example, one day a boy named Johnny went on a farm trip with his class. He told his teacher, wow, I think there are a thousand sunflowers here. The teacher said, Johnny, why do you say that? He said, well, I counted 10 sunflowers in this row and there are a hundred rows of sunflowers here. A hundred rows of 10 sunflowers is equal to 1000 sunflowers. That is what estimation is when you make an educated guess using math strategies that you already know. Today, we will practice estimation with measurement. Also, when we are estimating, we use the word about or approximately. There are about 1,000 sunflowers here. In a previous video, we learned that a ruler is 12 inches long. We can also say one foot long. You can usually hold a ruler in your hand. A yardstick, on the other hand, is much longer. It is actually three rulers long. We also say three feet long or 36 inches long. Most of the time we use a ruler to measure smaller objects and a yardstick to measure larger objects. Let's look at an example from today's lesson. It says, estimate the length of each item by using a mental benchmark. Then, measure the item using feet, inches, or yards. Mental benchmarks, one inch is about the length of a paper clip. One foot is about the length of a piece of paper. One yard or 36 inches is about the length width of a door. So they want us to fill in the blanks in this table. And some of the blanks have already been filled in for us. For example, the mental benchmark for a door is one yard or 36 inches. The mental benchmark means to think about which measuring tool is appropriate to use to measure these objects and make an educated guess about how big or wide the item is in comparison to these measuring tools. I'm going to estimate that the width of the door is 36 inches. However, when I actually measured the door, I got 30 inches. Wow, my estimate was so close. When you are doing this activity at home, I want you to remember that the width of your door may be different than my door when you actually measure it. Also, the width of your television may be different since televisions come in different sizes. And lastly, the height of your refrigerator may be different as well. When I actually measure the width of the door in my house, I used a yardstick because I have one. However, when you are measuring at home, it will be a little bit more challenging since you do not have a yardstick and possibly may not even have a ruler. I did some research and was able to find an online ruler that you may be able to use at home to help you complete this assignment. When you go to this link, https semicolon forward slash forward slash online ruler dot org forward slash inch. It will let you select if you want a ruler in inches or centimeters by clicking here. I want a ruler in inches. Um, and then you can select your monitor size. If you're working on an iPad, most iPads are 10 inches wide, the monitor. My computer is actually 15 inches wide. So you see when you click and change the monitor size, your ruler will also change, um, thus making it more accurate. This one is great because you can customize it to your screen size since sometimes there are objects that appear larger or smaller on certain screens. 
Let's look at another example from today's lesson. Estimate the length of each item by using a mental benchmark. Then measure the item using feet, inches, or yards. Mental benchmarks, one inch is about the length of a paper clip. One foot is about the length of a piece of paper. One yard or 36 inches is about the length width of a door. I am going to estimate that my kitchen table is the same length as my refrigerator. That is six feet or two yards. I'm going to use the mental benchmark as my estimation as well. However, when I actually measured my kitchen table using the yardstick, I measured two yardsticks and one more foot. That means that my kitchen table is actually seven feet long. My estimate was not that far from the actual measurement. That's great. I wonder what mental benchmarks, estimates, and actual lengths you will find. Wow, mathematician, you did an amazing job estimating measurements of different objects today. Don't forget to save your work to show it to your teacher. Keep up the great work, mathematician. Until next time, bye-bye.